has been quiet. We haven't heard from him. Well, how did you get him to speak? Well, you know what, Tom? Maybe I've got the special sauce. Sure. But, you know, he just came out with a recent op-ed because he's talking entitlements. But we talked to everything. Sequester, too big to fail. And in honor of Sarah Eisen, we did have a moment to get his take on Europe. Take a look. I think solvency is being addressed in certain countries, Spain, some other countries like that. Um, but no, the, the, the big difference is once Draghi said those famous words, they're going to do whatever it takes, um, people felt better. And, and there's, there's, a, there's an umbrella under the market in, in investors' minds right now. Can they pull out of this? It'll, it'll be difficult, but we'll see. Can central banks just keep printing money because there's no one to foreclose on them? Not forever, but maybe for a lot longer than we think. And if they do, then what's going to be the downside? The longer you keep the thing going, the worse it is. So, Tom, here's what's interesting. I mean, Stan thinks things could be worse than they were in 2008. And when you have this global central bank easing, it's good for investors. It gets everybody to go a little bit long here. But fundamentally, he thinks things look awful. And you know this. They are awful if you look under the hood. But if you've got Draghi, if you've got Bernanke coming out saying, go long risk, I'm here to catch you, mm. well, that's what investors do. And that's dangerous. Talk a little bit about what he's doing now, ever since he... You know, in a very public move, shut down the main fund. Well, he did shut down the main fund, i.e., meaning he stopped taking outside investors' money. He's still investing his own money. And let's be honest, it's Stan Druckenmiller. It's a lot of money. So he's very actively involved in the markets. But it's almost like it's a tale of two stands in that fundamentally he thinks we're up for a very difficult road ahead. But guess what? He's also somewhat long the market because you have to I was going to say, is he here. long or short? He is long the market because if you're trading the markets, if you're listening to any of these central bankers, you have to be. Okay, very Why good. Stephanie Wall. Well, he's coming out. He's talking about entitlements. When he wrote his op-ed piece, it was about how senior citizens are getting so much money and they're stealing that money from the next generation. He wants more people to hear about it. He's about to do a college campus tour to get more people engaged.